Merhaba. Living at Karamisel Air Station in Turkey was like living in a small American city. The difference was that virtually all of the labor jobs on base were understandably filled by Turks. They cooked our food, cleaned our barracks, maintained buildings and grounds, clerked in base stores and transported us via the infamous Tuslog buses back and forth to Yalova. There was also a permanent group of Turkish taxi drivers gathered near the front gate of base eager to earn money by taking us into Yalova or down to Bursa. Turks were everywhere except in the pound. With so many Turks around us, it was inevitable that Turkish words worked their way into our everyday conversations. I think Yeni was the first Turkish word I learned. As a newly arrived GI, that seems about right. Yeni was followed by Abi, that was used when addressing Turks both on and off base, and how we addressed our friends until we learned to call them Akadash. I learned on my first bull run on the Yalova Ferry what a Chaiji was, and that the answer to Kashpara Abi was usually Bir Lira. If we weren't in the mood for Chai, Ikitani Su was a safe way for both a friend and me to quench our thirst, or maybe Ikitani Gazus. Merhaba and Gule Gule were easily learned words, except that the correct usage of Gule Gule eluded me for quite a while. And I don't mean the GI revised pronunciation of it, but rather how to use it when either a friend or I were departing. Yo, Gabi, was something we would say to a friend who wanted to borrow money for a poker game. But then, if our Akadash asked if we wanted to make a bull run with him, we learned to answer with an enthusiastic, Prevet, Abi, beer daka, while I change. Eventually, we learned about the pavions in the bull and the chitiri in bursa, where the water was almost at boiling point, and once you managed to get in, you just didn't want to get out. Once in Istanbul, I found that if my lighter was out of fluid, pouring raki into it would get it back in business. <coughs> especially hard to take, but I did like the red wine. I even went so far as to memorize a complete sentence. Beya sharap is to orum, which I think means I want some red wine. At least I hope that's what it means. In addition to learning a few words in Turkish, there were also Air Force words and terms to learn. Who wasn't asked, when is your diros, shortly after arriving on base? Most guys just gave a blank look in response. The ironic thing is, that the Karamisel vet asking you about your diros had probably arrived in Turkey a week or two before you, but to him, you were a jeep, and would always be. I remember a friend who arrived at his new assignment along with a couple of other guys. My friend made sure he was off the plane first, and was the first one to get out of the Air Force car upon arriving on base, just so the other guys would be jeep to him, and he never let them forget it. And speaking of being a Yeni, it was very common for someone who arrived at Karamisel before you to stress just how much more time you had before going home compared to him. 
You're so yenny that they haven't even mined the ore that will be used to build the airplane that will fly you home, yenny. Or possibly, they haven't even planted the rubber tree that will be used to make the tires on the plane that will take you back to the ZI, yenny. Because the United States Security Service units usually began with 6-9, you learn that a short-timer was a person who achieved the lofty status of only having 69 days left before his dearos. He was expected to buy a bottle of Seagram's VO, share it, and then wear the black and yellow ribbon from the bottle on his uniform until he left. If you had 70 days left during his party, you were still his Jeep. This practice of wearing the ribbon on a uniform was discontinued eventually, and instead the yellow and black ribbon was tied to a pen that was clipped to a shirt pocket so that it was visible. Finally, there was only one Turkish phrase I heard during my 18 months at Karamisel that could possibly be construed as being a curse word of sorts. That was, quote, Sin Dilly Peach, unquote. No one seemed to know what it meant, but nonetheless, most guys muttered it at the end of a heated discussion with other GIs. Recently, I even posted a YouTube video asking for an English translation of it. Much to my surprise, a Turkish man in Istanbul responded and cleared up the mystery. <laughs>